Hey, what's up Camp Nerd fans? Welcome back to another tutorial here in the camp and we're building on to the notepad and getting everything set up and to show you the uh, nerd pad that is what I use to keep my notes and everything. This right here is the nerd pad. Uh, you have your new file, your save, your open, print, and then about nerd pad and then you'll see like search documents where you can search for a word in the document but we're not going to get into these as of right yet we're just going to do the basic which is open or new document save and open and then of course you've got your text box and then you have your file title, which is untitled at the moment, and then your file is saved, and then your character limits. And in the last tutorial, we went briefly over the character limit, getting that set up. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get into doing the character limit, and then we'll get into the next couple of tutorials as uh, clearing the text, and the saving the text, and opening the text files and then also down here the file title where it changes and to show you right here if I was just to type random characters it's going to tell me that I have done 25 characters of 2 billion character limit is what I have set on this I can go up to 214 billion character limit but that's neither here nor there uh, we're just going to get the concept of this, and then if I wanted to put a new document, and let's say I want to open a text file, and I open up this test file that we did in the last, you'll see that it gives me the 35 character limit of the what I have here, and it kind of gives you this... Uh, the overview of what we're doing. So now if we come back to our notepad, you'll in the last tutorial we set up the doc panel uh, with the scroll viewer and the text box. And to show you how the scroll viewer works, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just type random characters in this. And then let's change so you see like so. Alright, now, if you notice, I can scroll all the way up to the S, and I can scroll all the way down. And as if you notice, over on the scroll bar, it changes as well. Alright, now, the scroll viewer gives you the ability to scroll a text box in the WPF format. So now what we're going to do is, in our last tutorial, we brought up a uh, private void text body changed. And before we get into that, we need to define our last doc panel that we have down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a uh, text block. So it's going to be a uh, text block and then we're going to close it off like so and then within this text box we're going to label it as x name and then this is going to be car count or care it's going to be c h a r short for character and count and then we are going to put uh the uh text and this is going to be zero. You can leave it blank if you want to, but since we already defined in the last tutorial that what the character count is going to be from what we labeled it on, and we're just going to keep it simple, we're just going to put two billion, which is, I believe that's two billion. And so we have that defined right there, and then you can go through and you can set your... Uh, font size, everything like here. And so uh, that is what we're going to have right there. And then let's just put a font size. A All right, we're going to put a font family of uh, Calibri Lights uh, font size. 
of, let's say, 14. Ah, let's bring that down to 10. Yeah, 12. Uh, just kind of get it how, uh, how big you want it from there. And then this is also going to be a vertical alignment. And this vertical alignment is going to be center. And then it's going to be a height. Uh, well, we're not going to do uh, a height. We're going to do a width. So the width is going to be 250. And the reason why I put 250 is we're going from what we had gone on the actual nerd pad that we have seen. So here you see a character limit of 0 of 2 billion. All right, so now let's wire up the character limit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our uh, text change and uh, you have a private void text body change. Below that, you want to do a private void. And the reason why we're doing another private void is because we're going to define the character count. So car count. And then you can reference this in anything. And so what we're going to do here in just a minute, we're going to reference this. So let's uh, put the car count. Now let's get into it. So we're going to define uh, an int. And within this int, it's going to be int j equals. Now if we come back over and whatever you have your text file name as, remember in the previous tutorials, we have named it txt body. So we're going to put txt body dot text. And then this is going to be the length. And then we're going to put string car count equals. And then uh, within this uh, character count, we are going to define the j dot to string and then we're going to put plus and then we're just going to kind of space it out a little bit like so put our forward slash come back uh, space it out and then come back and then we're going to put our uh, 2 billion mark there all right now uh, the uh, private void care counts. Let's see what we did with this. Uh, there already contains a definition with this. So what we are going to do is we are going to put a car count, make it lowercase like that. All right, so let's uh, just kind of See, fix the situation, rename car to car counts, and then we're going to come down and where we labeled the text block down here is going to be car count. So, uh, LB or it was a text, what did we name that? Uh, the X name is car count. So, car count dot text equals and then it's going to be the car count like so. Alright, now since we have this we're going to come up and we are going to define the car count like so. And then now what we should have, and we're going to end on this note of this tutorial, is once we start the tutorial, you'll see down here it's 0 of 2 million. So whenever we start typing, you'll see that it changes and it gives you the character count of your character limit of whatever you have. All right, so you can go through and then still, I mean, it's got the... 
tab function, things like that. And so if you would like to get to this point so far, watch the previous tutorials and we'll, uh, and you can catch up to where we're at now. And so what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to leave off with this on this part of the tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be getting into the save function, the open function, and new defining that as well. And then also putting our uh, file create name and this is the nerd pad that I use that I created to keep on my notes and we'll get into the file title and then untitled and then have it change to where it is from there and as also with the uh, document that you open it will also give you the uh, character limit that is within that uh, the character length of whatever your character uh, length predetermined would be so this is ian here in the camp if you like the video hit that like button and also if you are not part of the camp nerd family would love to hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications and as always i will see y'all guys in the next tutorial until next time keep it nerdy I live in Hawaii, all I know now.